Hello everybody, I thought I'd do a quick video here to show you how I decided to repair a waterfall in this photograph that I took here. And um, it's one where I got some water spots on it. This is an older photograph that I took and I pulled out of my archives and I decided I wanted to process. I didn't process it back in the day, probably because the water fall is kind of funky. So um, I'm going to show you how I... Uh, I'm going to address this situation. So let's just get through this real quick. Um, for the folks that uh, really don't understand masking and layering, this is going to be a quick one for you guys too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this layer. Hit OK. I'm going to right click and I'm going to rasterize this layer that'll allow me to be able to um, edit it and uh, create a mask and and do what I need to do so I'm gonna duplicate this layer because I'm gonna do all of this work on these two layers and not this bottom layer this bottom layer is my smart object layer and so if I ever wanted to go back and uh, do some work in Adobe Camera Raw to this file I can do it here I can reopen it here but in the meantime let's uh, tackle this waterfall here and see what the heck I got facing me um, what I want to do is I want to turn these off and I'm going to create a mask and if you look down below you'll see that I'm going to click on this add layer mask button down below here I'm going to take my paintbrush I'm going to paint use a, uh, a soft edged black paintbrush. I'm going to use my opening bracket button to make it smaller just so it fills the inside of this waterfall. Okay, I'm going to make sure that my paintbrush is set to black because black conceals what's, excuse me, black reveals what's underneath of the present layer and right now because I have these turned off it's going to show me the little checkerboards that usually come up when it's transparent so oops let's make sure I have this set at 100% to do that I'm going to hit my zero button on my keyboard and that will take it to 100% opacity I'm going to go back hit Z control Z or command Z if you're on a Mac and I'm going to vary the hardness of this paintbrush a little bit because it's a little bit too fuzzy. I want a little softness in the edge, but I don't want it to go over the edge of the waterfall. All right, I think I'm where I need to be. I'm going to go over this like this. And I'll run this down here because this is basically what I'm going to be affecting. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the layer on underneath. I'm going to activate this layer I'm gonna, by clicking on it. I'm going to go to my filter menu here. I'm going to drop this down. I'm going to hit uh, blur and I'm going to hit motion blur. Okay. All right. So now this motion blur, it may not be set to where it needs to be when you click on it. So what I want you guys to do is set this to 90 degrees and that will make the uh, motion blur vertical alright then I want you to set the effect pull this little slider over to increase the amount of blur like this until it looks like it blends in really well it looks like the motion blur that you would get if you were using a uh, a longer shutter speed so okay 
All right, that looks pretty good to me, I think. What do you guys think? All right. I may want to go in below here and create an adjustment layer. And what I think I'll do is choose levels and then maybe make it a little bit, oops, a little brighter on the midtones here. There we go. And then I may want to reactivate this mask on the top up here. Take my paintbrush, make it a little bit bigger, and then just touch this bottom up a little bit here. Control Z. We'll go backwards. Control Z, we'll go backwards. If you hit the X button, that will switch it from black to white. And I can just go over the edge because I didn't want this little edge to be affected so much, okay? All right, we've touched it up. We've created a motion blur. We've gotten rid of the water spots. And uh, I think it looks pretty darn good. So I think the next thing I want to do is I'd like to come down here and take my black paintbrush. And there's a little water spot right down here. Let's see what we can do to it. Control Z. We'll go back because that didn't work so good. Let's see what we can do. Make it a little smaller. Control Z. What I'm going to do is vary the opacity to about maybe 50%. So you can go up there and do that, or you can hit the 5 button on your numerical keypad, and it'll change it to 50%. And I'm going to just touch that up a little bit. And I'm hitting Control Plus to increase the size. And it's not working so good. So let's try to affect it another way. I like this patch tool. That works pretty good. So I'm going to surround that with the patch tool. I'm going to come over here and maybe sample from here and let go. Whoops. Silly me. Make sure that the photo is uh, the layer <coughs> photograph and not the mask is selected when you do this. Uh, uh, I wasn't paying attention. so. I surrounded it with the patch tool and I'm going to move this over to a place in here that looks similar. I'm going to let go. I'm going to hit control D to deselect that and it looks pretty good to me. Now control zero will fill the screen with your photograph. Control minus will make it smaller and it looks pretty good. So. What I would do at this point is I would merge the layers that are visible here. I'd leave the smart object unchecked and I would go up, come up here to layer and hit merge visible. All right, and now before, after, before, after. So yeah, a creative edit and creative way to be able to go in and uh, repair a waterfall so I hope you guys enjoyed this and for those that are just beginners in creating layers or masks and how to mask the um, <clears throat> what's underneath of the present layer this kind of gave you a little bit of a hint on how to do that too so pretty simple I'm gonna cut this one off I uh, appreciate you tuning into my YouTube channel and I'll be posting more in time so tune in and uh, keep track of me. You can um, subscribe to my channel if you'd like. I'd appreciate it. And I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.